everybody welcome back to the channel and as you can see down here uh, at the lower right I am recording this on December 28th 2024 around 20 after 2 in the afternoon here in Chicago and yeah this is ultimately going to be a sea star video but it's not going to feature the sea star in itself what it will feature is how to set up Stellarium with the proper sensor settings and telescope settings so that you can uh, basically use the Sea Star sensor that you see right here. And th that is the field of view of the Sea Star in the sky. So uh, we are going to set up the sensor here and um, basically you have to have the specs for the camera and the telescope itself to be able to do that. The, the setup uh, sensors in and of itself is probably a completely separate video, but here I'm going to focus specifically on the Sea Star itself. So let's go to nighttime here. Let's crank up the uh, time frame. Uh, this is um, 20 after 9 in the evening. And let's move the Sea Star. Whoops. Let's move the Sea Star. This is the field of view that you would normally get with the Sea Star. And with the new framing mode, you can double, effectively double this field of view and rotate the field of view to be able to get a mosaic. See, you can also come over here. A lot of people have done the same thing here. Here, let me uh, rotate the sensor to be able to get the Horsehead Nebula. That will be a pretty good image right there just from the um, normal sensor, the, the normal uh, Sea Star sensor in and of itself. But when you go to expand the sensor uh, to be double that uh, for your framing mode, you can get a lot more of the Horsehead Nebula complex area right here uh, in your mosaic image. So to set up the sensor for the Sea Star, it's basically a two-step process. You have to set up the uh, sensor settings here and here you can see I have uh, sensor number seven. I've got six other uh, camera sensors that I have set up and uh, I've set, I've called this C Star S50 and the sensor itself is uh, IMX462. So I went on the uh, internet, uh, checked out the specs for the IMX642 and those were the settings that I put in the um, specific setup settings here for for the sensor uh, options here for Stellarium and down here for the telescope, I went to the telescope settings. It's a 50 millimeter telescope. And I went and found the um, focal length for the Sea Star and uh, set everything up. And then what you end up with is a red outline here. When you select the sensor option here, you get a red outline for whatever your sensor is set up, depending on these specs that you've set up right here. So the wrench here is your setup. And let's go over to sensors. That was the first thing I talked about. So here for the Seastar S50 IMX 462 sensor, uh, basically it's the name that I input myself. Resolution is 1080 by 1920. And that is true. The, that is the size that uh, you do end up with uh, when you take a screenshot with the Seastar uh, before framing. So uh, the chip width of the sensor itself is 3.2 millimeters by 6.4 millimeters. And binning is one, X is one, and you can see that I have left all of these other numbers at zero. Uh, the rotation angle depends on the rotation angle that I've set here. You can see where my mouse is in the upper right-hand side. And it depends on just how you want to rotate this. So I would imagine that if I wanted to set up another sensor for the framing mode. Say I want to go double because I think the framing can do two times what the default is. I can ultimately go ahead and do that. I haven't done it now. I am just uh, going ahead and showing you what I have for the basic default C-Star because I use this quite a bit in the last six months since I've purchased the C-Star to see, you know, when you're looking at the Helix Nebula, what are you going to end up with? What is a C-Star going to get when you try to look at the Whirlpool Galaxy. And well, with this setup here and 
Uh, in Stellarium, you can easily see what the sea star sensor, what kind of field of view it's going to cover, and what the object that you're interested in is going to look like in the sea star. So, all right, so that is it for the uh, sensors. So now the telescope here, you see that focal length is 250 millimeter, and the aperture of the main optic is 50 millimeters. The sea star S50 is the 50, S50 is for 50 millimeters uh, for the aperture of the main. Um, the main telescope and I've just uh, I think this was default horizontal flip and vertical flip and um, I did select equatorial mount but uh, that's kind of here nor there so um, yeah as a contrast uh, let's go and um, see what the horsehead nebula ooh, horsehead nebula looks like when I select the uh, the Astrotech 72 millimeter telescope, okay, Astrotech 72 millimeter, and the sensor sensor is going to be the um, 533. That's my main imaging setup for my main telescope rig with um, with my AVX, and you can see that this kind of gives you a good map of what the uh, the overall image is going to look like. And this was actually perfect when I was doing this uh, last spring, and you can see over here uh, you. The setup includes a setup for your guide camera, and you can see that you do have a great option for guide stars here. It's a, a guide camera is a um, ASI 174 Mini, as you see right there. So yeah, it's a very useful tool to uh, set up Stellarium to be able to uh, get a good idea for what your ultimate image is going to look like when you're out at night with uh, the Sea Star. So. Yeah, I hope I explained this uh, well enough. Uh, basically, as I said, you just go over here on the wrench. For the telescope, you set up um, for the Sea Star S50, 250 millimeter focal length, 50 millimeter uh, diameter for the main aperture of the Sea Star telescope. And then for the sensor, Sea Star S50 IMX 462. These are the settings that I used, and this has served me pretty well. So. Uh, hopefully this will help with your um, planning for your sea star imaging at night. So I haven't done any actual sea star videos in the last month or so here in Chicago because it has been either uh, too cloudy or extra, uh, way too cold. So uh, yeah, that's it for the video on the sea star setup and sensors in Stellarium. So if you have any questions, let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching everybody. Clear skies.